So you've heard a lot about Frisco and you're probably wondering if it is a good place to live. In this video, I'm going to share what you need to know about living in Frisco. I'm Keila McGraw, your favorite Dallas-Fort Worth realtor, and if you are thinking about relocating to the area, Frisco, Texas is probably one of those cities that is at the top of your list. So Frisco is one of those cities that went through a serious boom in population. So to put things into perspective, in 1990, Frisco's population was 6,500 people. If you fast forward to today, in 2023, Frisco has a population of over 223,000 people. So it's no surprise that when people contact us about best cities to live in and where they want to you know, grow that family, have lots of community activities and things like that, Frisco is one of those cities that they mentioned. In fact, we're currently working with a family that is relocating from Arizona, and Frisco is one of those cities that is at the top of their list of cities that they're considering moving to. A big reason why Frisco is so popular is it is consistently one of those cities that is on these lists of best cities to live in, best places to raise a family, and all of the things. For example, Wallet Hub in August of 2022 named Frisco as the best real estate market in the US. Smart Asset named Frisco as the number one safest city in the US. In Money Magazine, Frisco was listed as the 19th best place to live in in 2021 to 2022. Wallet Hub had Frisco listed as the 22nd best city for first time home buyers. Smart Asset listed Frisco as the, one of the top 20 most livable mid-sized cities. And in 2018, Frisco topped Money Magazine's prestigious list of the 50 best places Places to live in in America. And that's just a small sample of the list that Frisco, Texas is mentioned in. So I'm going to share some of the things that you want to know about living in Frisco. And we're talking about location, things to do, shopping, crime, schools, and some other things. And you'll definitely want to stay to the end because I have some interesting data on housing in Frisco. So let's get started with where Frisco is located. So Frisco is considered a suburb of Dallas. It is about 16 miles north of Dallas. And to give you an idea of the interstates or highways that run to and through Frisco, you have the Dallas North Tollway, which runs north and south. A lot of folks who commute from Frisco will jump on the tollway and it heads straight into downtown Dallas. The Sam Rayburn Tollway, you do have to pay to use it just like the Dallas North Tollway, but it does save you time and money when you have that toll tag on your vehicle. You also have Highway 380 that runs through Frisco. And so with all of those options for getting on highways or major thoroughfares, Frisco is pretty easy to get around and it's easy to get to downtown Dallas. In fact, it's about 30 minutes to downtown Dallas. Fort Worth is a little bit further out. You're looking at about 45 minutes to get to downtown Fort Worth. But Dallas Love Field, which is an airport located in Dallas, it's about a 25 minute drive and about a 30 minute drive to DFW Airport. Lots of options to get to Frisco and to also get to other areas in the DFW Metroplex. And if you're traveling, you have the option of using Dallas Love Field or DFW International Airport that you can easily get to from Frisco. I do have to mention because of the major growth in Frisco, the highways and the roads are typically congested and it really does not matter what time of the day that you're in Frisco you can be there in the weekends and your side streets are going to have traffic as well as your highways I will say because you do have more options in Frisco for roads to take the congestion is not just overwhelming you can get around but just know that yes there are a lot of people moving to Frisco so be aware of the traffic speaking of commutes if you are thinking of living in Frisco but your job is say in Fort Worth Texas or somewhere in the southwest side of Tarrant County you may want to reconsider moving closer to that area I say that simply because from Frisco to I'd say the southwest part of Tarrant County or or Fort Worth is going to be probably looking at an hour drive. And it's so deceiving when you look at Frisco and McKinney and Fort Worth on a map and you think like, oh, that's maybe like a 30 minute drive. No, we're talking about an hour commute. So be very careful when you're selecting the cities that you're considering, especially when it comes to Frisco and if you're thinking about 
working in Tarrant County. We can't talk about Frisco without mentioning the cool things to do in that wonderful city. And all of the buzz right now is about Universal Parks and Studios coming to Frisco, Texas. And this is a big deal. And it is no surprise that they chose Frisco as their home. So Universal Parks and Resorts is a one of a kind theme park. It's specifically targeting families with young children in Frisco, Texas. We are so excited to bring Universal to our area and we can't wait for the build out of it. So this proposed park also has plans to have an adjacent themed 300 room hotel. I love things. I'm thinking about Great Wolf Lodge. Our kids love to go there and if Universal Parks is gonna have something similar with different themes in their rooms, it's gonna be a hit for families or adults. In Frisco, you have the Rough Riders minor league baseball team, which plays in the Dr. Pepper ballpark located in Frisco. So if baseball is your thing, you can definitely check them out if you don't wanna travel all the way to Arlington to the Ranger Stadium. And of course, I have to mention the star in Frisco, which is where the Dallas Cowboys practice. It's a beautiful facility. It is not just where the Cowboys practice, it's also the headquarters of the Dallas Cowboys. So if you're in the area, you'll definitely wanna check out the star in Briscoe. And of course, our soccer lovers. There is the Toyota Stadium, which houses FC Dallas, where they play games. So if soccer is your thing, you'll definitely wanna check out the Toyota Stadium. In addition to the Toyota Stadium housing FC Dallas, you can also check out college football games at the Toyota Stadium. So I don't know if you know this or not, but each year Frisco is home to a bowl game called the Frisco Bowl, which takes place at Toyota Stadium. So if football, especially college football is your thing, you'll definitely wanna check that bowl game out. Also, the FCS Championship is held at the Toyota Stadium. So as you can see, plenty to do around that Toyota Stadium area. You have football, you have soccer, and other events, but just know that you do have a place in Frisco where you can go for various sporting events. So speaking of sports, golf fans. Something big is happening in Frisco when it comes to golf, and it is the PGA has moved its headquarters to Frisco. And along with it, there are also two championship golf courses. There's also a conference center and a resort style hotel. So there we go again with plenty to do in that Frisco, Texas area. And all of these places that I'm mentioning are not far from each other. So you could literally plan out a whole week and have plenty to do in that Frisco, Texas area. So in addition to all of the sporting events and things like that, Frisco Parks and Recreation is awesome. The city has over 50 parks ranging from small neighborhood parks to larger community style parks. And along with this, they have a system of trails and natural areas, plenty to do. You can do hiking, biking, walking, running, um, just plenty to do and lots to choose from when it comes to parks and recreation in Frisco. So any city that you're considering relocating to, you're going to want to know about the shopping options in that city and Frisco does not disappoint. Stonebriar Mall is one of the nicest malls actually in all of Dallas-Fort Worth. So you'll definitely want to check out Stonebriar Mall. They have everything that you can imagine. There's plenty of local and national retailers in that mall, including AMC Theater if you want to just hang out there and catch a movie in between all of the shopping that you're doing. If being in indoors at a mall is not your thing, but you still enjoy shopping, the Star District may be another option that you may want to consider. So the Star District is actually surrounding the Dallas Cowboys practice facility. There's plenty of shopping, pampering, bars, and restaurants in that Star District, so definitely check them out. And we can't talk about shopping options without mentioning grocery store options as well. And HEB is a big deal here in Texas. In September of 2022, HEB opened a location in Frisco and it went crazy. So much so that they're opening another one in Plano, in nearby Plano. So just to show you that Texans are serious about their shopping and very serious about their HEB grocery stores, it was a huge deal. So yes, not just HEB, you have 
plenty of shopping options when it comes to grocery stores, and HEB is just one of those of many. So you're probably wondering how much it costs to live in Frisco. The cost of living in Frisco is higher than other cities in the Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex area. According to bestplaces.net, Frisco's cost of living is about 20% higher than the national average, and the housing cost in Frisco is about 74% higher than the national average. So yes, you will be paying more than the average home that you would see around the DFW area or the nation. With that, you get higher ranked schools, you get a great location, you get a very quickly growing city and all that comes with that. In December of 2022, the median price for a home in Frisco was $720,000. And to put that in perspective, the average home price in DFW is about $361,000. And with that $720,000 price tag, you'll get a four to five bedroom home, maybe three to four bathrooms, probably a two story and about 3,000 to 3,500 square feet. Home prices in Frisco typically range from $300,000 thousand to the millions so there's something for everyone just kind of depends on what you're looking for in a home and of course your budget some of our favorite neighborhoods in Frisco include Starwood which is a larger neighborhood in the Frisco Texas area as well as Hills of Kingswood so a frequent question I get about people relocating to the area is how is the crime according to goodhire.com Frisco is the fourth safest city in America. Now, goodhire.com used some FBI information, and this is what they did in their analysis. They looked at things such as violent crime, property crimes, and society crime. And with all of that data, they came up with rankings, and they recognized Frisco as the fourth safest city in America. So of course, that is going to draw a lot of folks to Frisco because let's just be honest, safety is at the top of everyone's list. And as I mentioned earlier, Smart Asset ranked Frisco as the number one safest city in the US in April of 2022. Again, Frisco is gonna be at the top of those lists when it comes to safety. So it's definitely one of those cities that a lot of people gravitate towards and you can honestly see why. So if you're wondering about the schools in Frisco, Frisco Independent School District is one of the highly regarded school districts in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It has an overall accountability rating of an A, which is 95 out of 100 from the Texas Education Agency. And to just give you an idea of the scope and size of Frisco Independent School District, it has 72 schools in the district and it serves over 65,000 students. It's made up of 12 high schools, seven middle schools, and 43 elementary schools. They also have some special program schools. They have three of those. And something to note is that Frisco ISD has a student teacher ratio of 14.9 to one. So you're talking about smaller class sizes, which is great for students, making sure that they get what they need in that education setting and it's probably a good nod that of why Frisco has such a high rating according to the Texas Education Agency. Have any questions about Frisco or moving to the area? Call, text, or email me and we'll see you in the next video.